there we go. And now I got my YouTube peeps going too. Okay, so I'm just gonna get my stuff open here. Do 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 do. Ba -do, -ba -do. Mm -hmm. Should be able to see what you're doing or what you're saying to me or what you're not saying to me. I'm just deleting a whole bunches of stuff right now because of course I leave everything open on my computer because that's super helpful. Okay, so I have got YouTube peeps, you're rolling. You can say hi and I'm gonna know you're there. Now I just need to deal with the Facebook peeps. Okay, so let's go to the next one. There we go. The iPad last night was actually, I'm, I'm going to say it. It was comical. It was not working. There was no way that I could read your comments. I, I don't, it, but it was from the iPad. And as someone said, it's an old iPad. So these things happen. Okay. Of course, I'm not showing on. Not showing on Facebook yet. Okay. Let's hope. Um... Okay, just a sec. Um, okay, I totally just lost it. Where is it? Somebody help me find myself. <laughs> is that so bad? I can't find myself. I don't know where I am. There we go. Okay, here we go. Now she's got herself all good. Um, but no, I'm, I'm not even showing on Facebook. Why? Where? Yeah, there I am. I found myself. Yay! That was so bad. Okay, Facebook is showing. Yes, I can. I knew I was showing. I just couldn't find it so that I could read your comments. So we're good. I got everybody now. Oops, not what I meant to do. There we go. Um, how are you all? Are you having a good day? I am exhausted. <laughs> I forgot how little grade fours are. It was comical. Okay, so um, my Stampin' Up! like family, they're called the West Coast Creators. Really stupid name when I think about it now because they're not all on the West Coast. I'm on the West Coast, but we're like coast to coast. Should change it. Coast to coast creators. Hello, Karen Richmond. And so um, we do like team swaps, all kinds of things. So Case is on. Case is actually our swap organizer. So I'm going to share with you tonight my team swap. Now, I was so excited. I'm like, I'm dialed. I'm ready. I know exactly what card I'm doing. And then life happened. I'm going to tell you what happened to my husband, but don't laugh and don't tell him you know because he'll get mad. Um, poor husband went to leave to go to the grocery store. He just got back from the lake and he was pulling out of the garage. Or, sorry, and he closed. He didn't realize when he closed the door on the back of the truck, like, you know, the, what's that thing called on the canopy? You know, the little like window. Yeah. When he closed it, the garage door emergency release thing, the red little strap somehow hooked behind it. And he just, I will turn off the, the batter, I promise. And he blew out the back window. So he's not super happy right now. So it was a little chaotic for a bit. So you just, you know, you kind of have to roll with it. Okay. So I'm going to move you guys over to this one. There we go. So this is the gorgeous stamp set we're going to be using. It is called Christmas Season. And then uh, there's coordinating dies. They're called the Seasonal Label Dies. And they're actually, they're quite cute. They're super sweet. And so I'm hoping that that's all kind of good and working for you and that we're kind of clear. I know. I felt bad for him. No, absolutely. No one was hurt. And like I said, Debbie, I'm like you. That's always kind of my philosophy is I'm like, okay, well, you can't change it. Like it already happened. You just got to kind of have to roll with it. So for my swap card, we need, give me three minutes to go. We need a piece of crumb cake. Ta -ta. Merry Christmas. When, oh, literally Merry Christmas between Cooper. No, he is not having a good week, Patricia. I'm, I'm with you. I feel bad. And I feel like he's kind of, it is, you know, when you hit your breaking point, when so many things go wrong, um, I think he's at one of those right now. Okay. So we're going to do this part is very basic. So it was just a five and a quarter by four. So this was like basically other than some DSP we're going to use and a label. This is kind of it. Like it wasn't complicated in terms of the actual setup. Oh, oh, good. I was like, oh my God, where are those stamps? They're right here. They're on the other side. Okay. So first thing we're going to do, I'm going to grab the DSP from the correct package. There we go. This DSP, you guys, is 
stunning. I'm not showing you the card. Look at Annette. She's like, show us the card. No, man, you're going to see it happen. You're so cute. I'm not that girl. I don't give it away. Okay, so we have got uh, Designer Series Papers. I actually had a lady comment on that. She's like, I won't watch your videos because you don't show the card at the beginning. I'm like, okay, that's fine. Don't watch them. Sorry. Um, we've got this one here. And I've got this DSP here. I feel like these are, are you long enough? No, you're not. So I need the one with pine cones. Okay, so this DSP is called Painted Christmas. It's gorgeous. I'm just making, checking to see if the pieces that I have kicking around are long enough and neither one of them really is. So we're gonna get two more pieces. Do two of that and then we should be good to go. Glad you found yourself. Yes, me too. I, also, I too am glad I found myself. It's very difficult when one can't find themselves. Okay, so I need a piece of this guy because this is one DSP that I'm gonna be using. And then, do do. where are you? This one, got him. Okay, now we're not using a ton of DSP, but that's okay, we're all good. Hi, Core. Um, I didn't even realize you don't show us this card. I know, now you're like, wait a minute, she's been ripping off. Yeah, she's totally ripping you off. That's how she makes you stay with her. Because I feel like sometimes people would never even watch. I know, you're like, we would. Okay, so let me just drop. Uh, I need a half inch of both of those DSPs. So in terms of like utilizing a ton of DSP, there's not a ton. Like it's just like, this is it. That's all your DSP are using is two half inch strips. Okay. Now I'm going to show you on the back. I never make a card, hi Connie, without checking the back. So I do check it. It's like, okay, I always check my colors. So I'm going to use today some cherry cobbler, some crumb cake, some early espresso. Okay, so let me pull those. I say them to myself as I'm doing them. Okay, cherry cobbler, whoops, that's not it. Crumb cake and early espresso. I know I totally pulled those in the wrong order. I would like, I'm gonna go with evening evergreen on mine. I am going to use a little bit of soft succulent. I don't think I used any real red. I did not, okay. There we go, do you like that? Don't feel bad about an inch. I know a demo who had some complaint that she tapped her fingers too much. Um, I just throw my hands up and make a bowl of ice cream. I love you. You know, it's funny. I have started responding to those comments and not rudely, like I'm not rude to them, but I'm like, you don't order from me. You don't pay me for my videos. It's a free thing. So you don't like them, move along. I'm okay with that. Like you don't have to watch me. Nobody is forcing you. Yes, I, your keyboard critics, I love that. I actually, call them, we've always called them keyboard warriors. Ooh, I just got a, everything is stalling message. Okay, anyway, I've got a backup piece of cardstock here for my stamping. So, ooh, where did I get my sentiment from? Shoot, oh, that's embarrassing. So there, you'll notice in this stamp set, there is no sentiment. And so I used a sentiment and now I'm like, what sentiment did I steal it from? But geez, so bad, you guys. How do I not know? Is it in this one? Is that it? Together? No, it's me. You're okay. Oh, I have to show you the card because now I need your help. Is it super blurry for everyone? Okay, let me text kids. Just a sec. Did it improve um, yesterday when I had them get off? Sean's getting, we're getting boosters for home because the lake's way better. Wi Fi dying on Facebook Live, please off some devices. Okay, dealt with children. Um, There we go. Now I'm looking at their things instead of yours, but I don't want that. Blurry off and on. Okay, well, we'll just look at Annette. Show it! No. Okay, so here, but I, oh, I don't want you to see the card. Here, that's the sentiment. May your days be merry and bright. <laughs> Do you like that? Can I be more of a giant cheater pants with it? Okay, I'm double checking. It says, may your days be merry and bright. I'm looking at my stamp sets and going, who did I steal it from? Uh, is it you? Nope. Come on, someone has to recognize that sentiment. And someone's gonna, you know what Annette's gonna say to me? She's like, I'm not telling you unless you show me the card. She's gonna hold my card hostage, people. I know she is. It's nice and clear now? Yeah, because I yelled at my children. Anyone else feel like you have to do that a lot? Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I'm going to start stamping and worry about my sentiment in a minute because I don't know how I've done that. And I don't, oh, I do know. I lied. I just remembered. It's here. 
I stole it from tidings and trimmings because I wanted a sentiment. All of a sudden my light bulb went on. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is I am going to grab uh, a block and we're going to use early espresso ink. Haha, ha, Ned, I win holding your card hostage. I don't know it. <laughs> uh, oh, you do have to laugh about some of the stuff that goes on now. Okay, so on this one, we're gonna have to do a little bit of die cutting, okay? So I'm gonna, we're gonna get our die cut bits ready. So we're gonna stamp this sentiment. Do, do. And he's, we're going to move him up a little bit just because of the way I cut him. I, I left. Oh, I love how they, you know, there's nothing better than a well ink stamp on basic white paper, right? You like trying to guess. It is kind of funny. It's like every day is a mystery Monday with me. But that way, if I, you know, lose my mind, we're all good. Hello, Sandy Schultz. I tried to look for the annual, so I was on the right track. See, you totally were on the right track. I, on the other hand, was not. Now, we're going to leave this guy open. And what we're going to move to is we're going to move to the inner part of the pine cones. Now, if you were on with me last year, I feel like you might remember this. I made the mistake of calling them, I think I call them acorns. And you, yes, it was, it did not go over well. So I know they're pine cones. Sometimes I can't English and I struggle. Uh, shock, she found it. I was going to say I knew, but she needed to show the card. See, you're totally holding my card hostage. Look at you. Okay, so let's start. I'm going to go. Doot. Sorry, I kind of disappeared on you there for a second. I was thinking, I'm like, is that good enough spacing? But I wasn't talking, so. Okay, and then we'll get the little ones too. Because I need two different size pine cones. And then we're going to do the little ones innards too. I'll show you why I do the innards first. I actually don't think I did when I did my initial card. I lost my mind a long time ago. Well, if you find mine, Jack, you could let me know. Okay, let's do the crumb cake. Oop. Mine's gotta be out there wandering around somewhere. Ink them up. Now, the part I like is if I stamp the dark first, I then find it's actually so much easier to kind of come in here and fill in the blanks with the light and I get a really kind of beautiful, realistic, stamp look okay let's try the next one so same thing now i'm crumb caking it for the record i had no idea i was gonna bluff <laughs> no i don't think it's your internet Catherine. i feel like it's mine tonight i really feel like it's quite glitchy um yeah it, it's not i'm not winning tonight but i'm gonna keep plowing away if if you have to leave if it's making you crazy i absolutely understand i will not be offended there we go, two gorgeous pine cones. Okay, actually I need crumb cake still. So now what we're gonna do is we're, we can die cut those in a sec, but we're gonna take our regular old card base part here. This is the, um, I know, aren't they amazing? I love the realistic look like that. So I'm gonna grab you, where's your bits? Here are you. Uh, maybe I used, I did, okay. Hi child. My Xbox on a wired connection so it doesn't take up bandwidth. Okay. I think it's just our garbage Wi-Fi. I don't think it is Joe. I think our Wi-Fi is just horrible. Okay. Thank you, Angel. Yeah, our Wi-Fi is just horrible. My son's like, Mom, I'm wired, so I'm not impacting our Wi-Fi. Like, oh, good. You got nature's harvest. I know. It's not your, I don't think, Catherine, it's totally not yours, though. Okay, so what we're going to do first here is I'm actually going to start again check this out with my darker and I know this concept is like loony but it does make it so much easier 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 visually to do your lining up so we're going to start with evening evergreen and do 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 tap tap okay and I'm going to just take it up here and I'm going to throw one up like that I'm going to throw one over uh, we'll take you over here kind of like that Okay, so those two base ones are, you're gonna be like, those are weird looking leaves. Well, they're not, check this out. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna throw in um, an accent card. Hi, Tony Vance, how are you? So yes, I did, I giggled away today teaching four or five because I was like, wow, everything takes so long. I forgot how long everything takes at this age. So now what you can see is when I come in here with my, other stamp. This is one that's just in soft succulent. Oh, he's quite inky. Ooh, I must need to stamp you off. You're really inky. Um, I'll try inking this one off. Is that it 
is so much easier to line up. So now I just come in and away we go. See, look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? And it's okay that they're two different colors. Okay, I love that look. Okay, next I need to grab, oh, my supper that I cooked last night, by the way, kind of rocked it. Super proud of myself. It was so good. Okay, so this one, I just, Jacqueline, I saw your comment. I was like, oh, I did. I cooked a great supper last night. Quite proud of myself because I'm not a cook. Um, we got those bits in. Yeah, my soft succulent is super inky. Like to the point of, I'm going to flip. Don't get mad at me, please. Just roll with me. I have to fix it because it'll bother me. Okay. So we're going to do one more time. I got a swap today that was the whimsical. Oh, I know. It was That was um, Sharon's. I loved it too. Okay, so I'm just going to stamp these one more time. I am going to stamp off my soft succulent just because it is quite well inked. And what I do find is, I don't know about you guys, it can actually get a little, uh, does the word bubbly make sense? It gets a little bit, there we go, that's better. And then here's my leaf. Do, do. I just don't love the look of it being over inked. I love that look. That look is dreamy to me. You're welcome, sweetheart. Still no baby, what? Good Lord. Is she at the hospital, Sharon? Okay, so now just stamp that one. And away we go. Okay, so that part's done. And look at it. It's, if I can do it that quickly, it's not that hard. Because I can be quite challenged at this stuff. There we go. So now, not sure if you saw, the words are from Tidings and Trimmings. Yes, Tony, you might be behind us. I did find it eventually. It just took me a while. It's a little bit slow on the uptake. Tony, we need to get you participating in team swaps. I want some of your cards. Okay, so now, all I'm doing is this is my crumb cake. You know what else it can be? My ink pads at the lake would be so much drier based on climate there than they are here. So see what I did? All I just threw some stuff in. So love, love, love. Now, next step we're gonna do, where's the other little branch? This little dude here, it's tiny. This is a tiny one. I showed the card. Ah! <laughs> there's the card, look at it. What was I looking at? Who, there's the card, there. Thanks, Cor. Corey's like, you idiot, you showed it. Yeah, I did. Y'all saw it. Everyone, I know, I do love Tony's cards. Okay, was that? Yeah, that's right. So we're gonna come in here and we're gonna sneak. I'm gonna put you out this way. I shouldn't have done that brown there. Poopy bumps. That's okay, I'll make it work. And we'll stick one kind of, I'll let him come up through here. He's just gonna go right over top. I'm not gonna worry about it. They're there, whatever. We'll roll with it. Okay. I love you guys. You're like, you idiot. We can see the card. Yes, yes. I'm not very bright. So when school starts, I'm not super sharp. I was so tired by the end of the day. Okay. I'm ready for bed. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is you want to just assess this because you want to know how to line them up. So you, they, these actually line up directly with that branch. So all I do is I come in and I kind of load everybody and I branch them just like that. Okay. Get you well inked because you got to jump over the crumb cake. Or jump over the crumbs. There we go. Oh, it still worked. Good. That's perfect. Okay. I want to see Tony's. No, I'm saying I want, like, you have to see Tony's cards. She will part, like, she's got some gorgeous stuff. So we need to get Tony participating in team swaps because I want them. Much easier to do the insides. It is. I do like those because it helps me line up very quickly. Okay. Next step, again, not complicated. What up? She's being really bad tonight, Kim. Do you want to get her under control? I'm just kidding. She's not at all. Um, where is my favorite punch for flagging my ends? There we go. Da -da. Da -da. Okay, now what we're going to do next is we're going to take our seal, okay? If I can find it. It was out. If I were the seal, where would I be? My cat is, oh, <laughs> parked in your craft space. <laughs> I love it. They do. That's something that they do. Coop's home. So is Harley Bean. My sweet voice came home. Coopy was mental. Mommy, I ran away from daddy. It's so bad. Baddest puppy dog ever. God, do I love that little smoochy face. Okay, so we got that one on. Now, while it's on, I'm actually gonna trim it off. I do love these stamps. And they're totally not my style. Just so you know, Heidi, I am not this kind of a stamper. Look at Corey Angel, whatever. 
Hi, Jen West. It's like my stamping on the back of my card where I screwed it up the first time. Hmm. See? If you join me early, you would see my mess. Okay, now this one, all we're going to do is we're going to overlap him. So we're going to run our seal. Same thing. Go. Ta -da. And then this one, I'm just going to let him overhang the layer below him by a bit, like an eighth of an inch. And he's not going to be quite as long. Okay. So again, go to the side where I did my weird stamping and messed it up and chop it off. Ta -da. Okay. Take the mess, slide it to the left. Slide. Hey, who saw last night's? Did you see last night's card? It turned out really cute. He was quite sweet. I was kind of in love with him. This is for my upcoming uh, Create with Ange and Allison class. And this one is called, that's from my, my Joyful Life class that we're doing in October. Chris, I got your registration. Okay, focus Angela, something shiny. Let's grab lots of stuff from over here. Let's grab our mini boss. And let's do this right, people. I love that piggy. I know he did turn out quite cute. Oh my gosh, it is so glitchy tonight. Like I can even see YouTube how glitchy it is. Okay, got those. Now I am gonna do one thing here. What you're gonna notice is I'm gonna chop these two things in half just because of the width of the machine, right? Like we can't get it all through. So remember I said to you that there were coordinating dies for the set that I was using. Well, not only does it have those gorgeous pine cones, but it's got some killer label dies. So we'll start off with our label die. And this one, I am gonna keep it more towards the bottom. So I'm gonna go this way, because then maybe I can get my head over it a bit more just to make sure it's lined up. Because if I go the other, my head is by the camera and I bump it and it's embarrassing because I tend to just jiggle it all around. Okay, so does that look? Don't worry about how straight it is on the cardstock. It's more we're trying to make sure our image is straight because I never, I chopped that cardstock a little bit wonky. What set are we digging into? We are digging into Painted Christmas. Okay, did we get it? We got, look at this, super sweet. Okay, check. Check with the checker who checks, checks. Next. We need our lovely pine cone dies. But like, look at the other dies that are in here. You've got labels. You have got um, gorgeous holly ones in here. Look at the other labels back here. Okay. But you can turn them into tags because they've given you tag options with them. Tag. You're it. Okay. I was getting my bits ready. Oh, good. I'm excited for sparkle of the season. It's cute. Next. Jump over here. Okay. So we're going to take you. We're gonna line you up. Now, I find images like this can be a little bit more nerve wracking to line up just because they're not kind of such a set edge, especially when you're doing the two-step stamping. Hi, Sandy Forden. Hello, Jenny from Michigan. You feel like you need it. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. You guys have to tell me when payday is so that I can like strategically time it for you so that I get you when you're broke and you know you can't do it, right? You're like, okay, can't do this. Sean has sent a child upstairs to vacuum all the glass out of the garage. It is a gong show. There, we got it. Check. There we go. I'm sorry, but isn't it? You have to admit it is super pretty. And again, I don't know if I would have bought it, but I got it from Stampin' Up! as part of my, um, when I missed my trip and they sent us our package of like goodie bag, you know, whatever, like our pillow gifts, I got it then. I got the dies for it, I think. And then maybe I bought the stamp set after. I can't even remember now. Anyway, so to me, it was one of those ones I wouldn't have bought it, but then when I got it and I was like, oh, this is kind of cute. They are good pine cones. Okay. Here we go. So this, again, easy. Don't go into shop. I did not pop this layer up. He just came in and I planted them. Ta-da. Merry Christmas. Literally, Merry Christmas. Okay. Let's grab. I'm so sorry about the jumpiness. I will be calling Shaw, telling them I need some issues. Can't do anything. How is my Wi-Fi at the lake better than here? And they used to be the lake Wi-Fi that the kids complained about. Hi, Bet. How are you? 
Okay. And this one, we're just going to let him, he's going to kind of overhang, make sure he's covering up. See, like I want him covering up where some of these stems kind of go in. So we're going to put him just right there. And then this little darling, he's going to pine cone it. Oh, I don't want to cover up too much of my green, so maybe I'm really going to tip him. Tippy, tippy. Trippy, trippy. There we go. Almost there. Saw my, my little beans this morning. Some of them still came to my room. I'm like, gosh, you have to go to your new room today. We kind of had one of those sad moments of we weren't quite ready to leave each other. We would I would have liked a day just hanging with them, finding out about their summers, but no. Uh, okay, <gasps> look at it is pretty cute. So all we have left to do is we're gonna add some basic red whoops, rhinestones. Now I do know where they were because they were in the same container that we found those gems in last night. Okay, it's just that, oh, here they are. Boop, boop. Take a pick tool, where are you? And then let's come in and we're just gonna, do you all have your take a pick tool? Am I the only person who is obsessed with my take a pick tool? Or please tell me there's others because I don't know what I actually used to do before the take a pick tool. You can't stay there. You just got relocated. You might have to come over here. There we go. Oh, love. So happy. The main question is, are you in a portable? Yeah, man. I didn't move classrooms. I do love my portable. I'm not gonna, I cannot be the teacher that lies to you and says I don't like the portable because a lot of teachers don't like the portable. I love the portable. I hate the ventilation. Again, today it was only 25 degrees Celsius here, but my portable, we were like virgin on 30. It gets really warm, but you like the pointy end. Isn't that funny? I know I'm told I'm good with the putty now. Like I'm feeling like I'm rocking my putty. Okay. So you guys, just to kind of give you the lowdown, what did I use tonight? So this excuse me, another hiccups. This is the seasonal labels dies and I use them. Uh, this is a bundle that you can order with the Christmas season stamp set. I mean, check, like look at the other bits in it because like this, oh, so pretty. I should see if I can find you. Actually, I have another card on the wall. Hang on, I'm gonna grab you something else. Cause I can show you some more. Doo -doo. Okay. This one was fun. I played with this one. It was just one night when I was, you know, when you're messing around and you don't really ever kind of go with the card, but yeah, you liked kind of how it went down. So this was another one. And so this one, I've never seen you use that punch for anything but flagging. It's because Kimberly, I don't know if I have. Oh God, no, our portables don't have AC. Our schools don't have AC, sweetie. Um, so here, this was actually, I did a mask, a circular mask, and I stamped into it with the branches. And you can see like, I was using this one and this one and kind of made this background part. Now, I don't know if I love the card, but I did have fun with it. And then I used the bigger banner and I'm in love with the sentiments. This is from that heartfelt wishes stamp set. It's quite gorgeous. So kind of fun. And so I used those. And then as we said, for those of you who are intelligent, I'm like me, I had stole the sentiment from my tidings and trimmings. Now this one's in the annual catalog. It's stinking cute. Colors we use tonight. We used a little bit of Evening Evergreen. We used some Soft Succulent. We used Cherry Cobbler and we used some Crumb Cake. I didn't put any ribbon on and then we just used our basic red rhinestones. So there you go. I'm gonna come back to me. Can I come back to myself? Come back to me. What song was that? Dude, where am I? September of 1982, many of your comments. I started high school and we had portables, no lockers. We had to carry all the books from class to class. High school, whoops, the high school had burned down. Oh, jeez. Okay. I hope that you all have an amazing evening. Uh, it's my hopes that I will be on with you again tomorrow. Ooh, three day, four days in a row, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Can you tell I'm home? Um, heart war is on, girl. Love you guys. Have mwah, an amazing night. Remember, you can purchase all these products if you head over. There you go. To shop with NorthShoreStamper.com. Um, grab them. Don't forget it's celebration. So for every 60 you're spending, you're going to earn free host rewards. If you spend 100, you're going to get my global tutorial uh, PDF for free. And the new one's out. And the new one is all based on... Is it based on? I can't read. How can I not remember what I just did? Quick, somebody tell me, was it Sparkle of the Season? 
Nope. It was Marius Wishes. Whew, that was terrifying. Um, I could not remember my own name. And then I also want you to remember there is a bunch of new classes. So I just swapped that over for you. You can see. And you can find my classes if you head to this link here. Have an awesome night, you guys. And I hopefully will see you again tomorrow. Now I just have to remember how to shut